Hi, it's Corrine for Cut at Home, and today I'm making a cute little greeting card using the new Tim Holtz by Stamper Anonymous Bird Crazy Stamps. And I'm using my Distress Ink markers, this adorable new stamp set, the water brush from Tim Holtz, and some watercolor paper from Ranger. And I'm going to stamp on top of a stamp pad, which will give me a little bit better impression. And I'm stamping on the smoother side of the watercolor paper. I'm using some stays on jet black ink along with my Fiskars stamp press. And I'm just going to stamp out several birds. I wasn't sure at this point what I wanted to do. I just was pretty much playing around with these. So I'm really pressing down, trying to get a good impression with them. And the stays on ink is a solvent based ink, so it will not smear when I use my watercolor brush with it. Um, using my watercolor brush, I haven't added any water to it. You can add water to it, but I'm using just a little bit of water on the side and I will be picking it up with the watercolor brush. So I'm just going through and picking out some blues. I know that I wanted one of the birds to be different colors of blues and I'm using tumbled glass broken china and stormy sky I will have all the colors listed on the blog post at cut at home so I hope you stop by and check that out along with all the products used in today's project so I'm just going to go through and color these up and I will be back So now that I've colored them all in, I just kind of played around and um, 
I actually end up coloring one more of the bird that you see there on the very right because I liked the look of that bird along with that shorter bird. I wanted to use those on my card, but being that they were both blue, I wanted a, a little bit different color variation. So I colored another one in pinks. And now I'm just fussy cutting them out and I'm not worrying about the feathers on their um, top of their heads or their feet. I cut out just their body parts because I will stamp them again and then add the colored part to them. That way I don't have to worry about fussy cutting them out. So here's the bird I actually end up using on the card. I'm using worn lips, lipstick and spun sugar. And again, I'm just quickly coloring them in using the shading that is already on the stamp to put my darker colors in. And then I'm moving the color around with the watercolor brush just to give, give it a little um, bit of a watercolor look. So again, I will fussy cut him out as well. Trying to turn my paper and not my scissors as much. That way it gives me a little bit cleaner cuts. So the other birds I'll just save for another project. Here I'm using the Spellbinders label 17 dies and I love this bracket shaped die. I'm holding my um, images on there to decide which size that I need and I'm using the second to the largest die, cutting it out from some white cardstock, running that through my Sizzix Big Shot. I do end up cutting out another piece here in just a moment. So here's going to be my card base. My car final card will end up being a five and a half inch squared card. First, now I'm cutting it at six by 11 and 11 and scoring it at five and a half. But I do take another half inch off here in a little bit. I used my Heartfelt Creations Deluxe Flower Shaping Kit to score that. It gives me a perfect score. And here's where I decided I wanted another one of the labels dies. So I'm using the largest one and again cutting it out from the same white cardstock, which is the same as my base card as well. I pulled out some of the My Mind's Eye Adventure paper. This is the 6x6 collection. This is a super cute paper pad. So I'm just kind of looking through and deciding what I want to use for the front of my card. I ended up choosing this green polka dot one. So I'm cutting this as the same size as the front of my card, which like I said, I will be cutting my card down here in a minute. And I'm using some angel craft tape in the one quarter inch to adhere this to the front of my card. It's a super strong double-sided adhesive. So I'm just kind of laying it out trying to decide what I want to do here. And I decided I wanted to make the different dies stand out a little bit more. So I'm adding some sponge sugar distressing to the edges of both my dies. And I go around them twice because I want it to stand out just enough so you can see the layers easily. Now I'm going to stamp down the birds exactly where I'm going to be placing them. And then this way their little feathers and their feet will stand out. And then by doing this, like I said, I didn't have to worry about fussy, fussy cutting them out. This stamp set is so cute. So I'm just using some wet glue and adhering those down right on top of my stamp, stamped image. Here's where I'm showing you I cut a half inch off. So it ends up leaving me a five and a half inch squared card. I do decide that I want to pop up that image. So I cut out two pieces of a light to medium weight chipboard using the same size die. And that way it gives me a 
perfect mat behind my image to lift it off the paper slightly. Here I decided to add some ribbon. Had I thought of that, it would have been better to add it before I added my matte pattern piece of paper. But a long time ago, I picked up a trick from Christina Warner that she just cut, uses her craft knife and cuts a slit in the top fold of her card. That way you can slip your ribbon right through it. That way I didn't have to try and rip off that decorative piece of paper. I was able to just slide it through and it really looks cute from the inside. You can also cover it up with more cardstock on the inside, but it, I thought it turned out cute, so I left it. So I decided I want the ribbon to go over it, so this way I'm gluing it down underneath, tucking it under, and then I'll add just a little bit of hot glue behind my ribbon to hold that in place. So for my sentiment, I printed out these two words. I'm using the exact same pattern paper, just the back side, so it's, it coordinates perfectly. And um, these are actually silhouette cuts, but I just printed them out. I'll have the information on those also in the blog post. One of them says smile, and the other one says we belong to each other. I thought it was just a, a cute um, saying to go along with these two birds. So I'm adhering that down in the inside of the card for my greeting. And for the outside, I'm just cutting down that smile to where I, I think it looks good, and I will adhere that to the front of my card with the angel craft tape as well. And I decided I wanted to add a couple of enamel dots. So I added three from the He Said, She Said collection from Teresa Collins. And that's all there was to it. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and please check out Cut It Home's blog all the information plus detailed photos will be listed there as well. Thanks so much for watching.